I wish I could jump off, but I'm not that skilled. I'll just go like this. Ah, uh, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Planet Roller Skaters? It's Queer Girl Straight Skates, and today we're gonna talk about how to roller skate. So I'm bringing in my friend Peach, and she just got her roller skates today, and I'm going to teach her how to roller skate just the very basics. So why don't you come along with us? I'm scared. I'm a little nervous about getting hurt. Paige, you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. First things first, we have to figure out if we have all the gear we need. So, gear check. <laughs> Helmet. Check. Knee pads. Oh yeah, check. Wrist pads. Check. They're also called wrist guards. Wrist guards. Check. check. <laughs> if you want them, elbow pads. She doesn't want that. I'm not, so not today. We're not going to do that. Do we have our skates? <laughs> skates. Check. Now that we have our gear on, the next thing we need to learn how to do is stand up. So I'm going to teach you one very easy way to stand up. So I want you to get on both of your knees, and then I want you to put one foot, whichever one you're most comfortable with, in front of you. For me, it's my right foot. So once my right foot is planted in front of me, my left foot is still on my knees, then I'm going to use my hands and put pressure on my knee that's in front of me. And then on the back foot, I'm gonna go up on my toe stop and I'm gonna use my toe stop to push down on it and use it to help me stand up. Okay, so the first thing to know before you start trying to roll is you need to have a strategy for what to do when you start to feel all wobbly and off of your feet. So the thing you should think about doing is you want to think about reaching your hands out and smushing down as if you're sitting in a chair. Anytime that you feel like yes. off of your balance, just smush down and go super skater. And you look like a super skater because you look like a superhero. And you're a skater. I'm likely going to be off balance. A lot, so super skater. Super skater. Skating is different than walking, right? So if I start trying to just walk, I'm not skating. Like, this is not skating. And honestly, you'll probably fall over and not be effective if you just try and do this. So that's the first thing not to do. The second thing, what not to do, is you don't want to just be kicking up your feet. Like, you don't want to just go like this. Like, that's not going to get you anything. Like, if I'm picking up my feet, I'm not moving. Like, I'm just here, looking like a crazy person. Whoa! Super skater! <laughs> <laughs> so, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to first practice balancing from one foot to the next foot. So, balance one foot and the next foot even if it's just for like a half a second, because that's all you're gonna kind of need when you're skating. The number one most important thing you possibly can remember to do is to bend your knees. So the reason why we bend our knees is the more bent our knees are, the more we're able to catch ourselves if we're falling. And also, if I'm down here and I do fall, I'm closer to the ground. <laughs> So it didn't, it didn't hurt as bad, one, because I'm wearing all my gear, and two, because I have less space to fall. But if I'm all the way up here, and I'm standing up straight, and I fall, I'm like, oh no, I just fell. <laughs> but if I'm down here, it's better. Got it. Got it? Yes. So, the knee is shifting weight, not walking. Yes. Now that we know what not to do, let's talk about how to stride. Striding is the basics of actually roller skating. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put your feet into penguin position. Penguin position is when your toes are pointed outward. Now you don't have to do anything crazy and go completely uh, all the way out to the side or anything like that, just in a comfortable outward position. Once you're in that position, you're going to bend your knees and then you're going to transfer the weight to one of your feet and then you are going to straighten up. 
and then you'll transfer the weight to the other foot and stretch out. If you notice, if you have your feet and your toes facing forward, you're not going to successfully stride. So you have to make sure that your toes are facing outward a little bit because it's that that's going to help you to really repel and make the movements forward, lean forward. And that's how you stride. The bend in your knees is very important because the bend is what's giving you the propulsion forward. When you're bending your knees, if you don't bend them completely, you, when you straighten up, you're really not gonna go anywhere. So you're bending your knees and transferring your weight and that's pushing you a little bit, but then it's the straightening up and pushing off with your back foot that's really gonna move you forward. So you're bending your knees, transferring your weight onto one leg or the other, and then straightening up, and that gives a more of a propulsion forward from the back foot and from your whole body. a little bit more secure and you're gonna feel safe in your stance this feels a lot better than just standing yeah it feels a lot better than just standing another way you can stand is you can use your toe stop so if you're using your if you're putting your foot down and your toe stop is down on the ground your front two wheels and your toe stop kind of act as as like a tripod for your leg and so you can like bend your knees a little bit and put one of your feet onto that toe stop it gives you that security and you're gonna be more stable and you won't just randomly fall as much. I think this one feels the most comfortable. That one feels the most comfortable for you? You should try it out at home. Which stance feels the most comfortable to you? Let me know in the comments. Another way to skate that's not striding is by doing bubbles and that's keeping both feet onto the ground. And the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna start in penguin again. You're gonna bend your knees and you're gonna bend your knees a little bit more. Oh, wow, I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna start in penguin, you're gonna bend your knees and you're gonna bend your knees a little bit more, make a bubble and close it, and then put your legs out, bubble, close it, put your legs out, bubble, close it. So if you want to do something other than striding, that's another option for learning how to skate. If you don't feel comfortable picking one leg up at a time yet, you can start by practicing your bubbles and then you can move on to striding. Oh. I start in Penguin. How, how much should my knees be bent when I bubble? So your knees will bend more as you bubble. So when you're first beginning your bubble, it's just like a little bit of bend. And then when you go in, you're bubbling. <laughs> what is up with me and bubbles today? When you first begin your bubble, you're gonna want your knees bent a little bit, and then you're gonna bend more going into the bubble, and then you're straightening. When you're doing bubbles, it's important that you sit down into it. So the power for the bubbles is coming from the inside of your thighs and your butt. So when you're doing your bubbles, you want to tighten your butt and like really hanker down on those thighs because that's going to be what's going to give you the power. Like if I was just to stand kind of straight and not really pay attention to my body, I could do like this, but I'm not really doing anything. But if I am, 
if I am going down into it, I have more power. And I can even go really fast. Bye, Rebel. We'll miss you. Um, so, penguin. Okay. So, let's try the bubble. Okay. So, knees, spin, penguin. And then in. And then out. Yeah, you see how when you bend your knees, you're able to push yourself out a little bit oh. more? Oh, I so, get it. The, the more you bend your knees, that's what's going to propel you into the actual bubble forming. I'm doing it. I'm bubbling. Bubbles that don't pop, courtesy of roller skates. So when you are skating, you want to make sure that you have all the different parts of your body in check. So let's go through each of the parts of our body and make sure that we know what we should be doing with each one while we are skating. First off, your head. Your head should always be up. You shouldn't be looking at your skates or looking at the ground underneath you. The reason why you should be looking forward and having your head up is because your body will go the direction that your face and your head is pointing. So if I'm looking down, I'm probably going to fall. But if I'm looking forward, I'm gonna end up skating straight ahead. With your shoulders, your shoulders, we have a tendency when we're nervous and when we're freaked out, we're learning something to go like this in a hunch up, but we need to relax our shoulders. So put those shoulders down. Next, your core. So your core is somewhere in the middle of your like body. I still haven't figured out where it is, but if you imagine there's a string tugging on, the be on your belly button and pulling it through your back. So you wanna tighten up that core so that you have that center of gravity really safe. The next thing is that you wanna sit your booty down. So take your hips and your booty and you wanna push it down. The more you sit it down and you sit into it, so you're sitting like you're in a chair while you're skating, the safer the position that you are in when you're first learning. And finally, your knees. Your knees should not be locked. They should not be straight. Your knees should be at like an easy bend. So the more you bend your knees, the more loose and the more safe that you're gonna be. So again, head, forward, shoulders, relax, core, tighten, hips and butt, sit, knees, bend, and you are ready to skate. The last thing that I wanna mention is your hands. So a lot of us naturally when we fall, we wanna fall and protect ourselves when we're falling with our wrists and with our hands. You should not do that. That is the easiest way to break your wrist. So what I like to do is I want to have us put our hands in front of us and even imagine that we're carrying like a bowl of goldfish and you love your goldfish and so you don't want your goldfish to fall on the ground. So you're going to keep your goldfish safe and even if you fall then you're going to fall and you're going to the rest of your body look look. My goldfish is safe. Yay! So that is what you should be doing. Oh no, my old fish dropped. <laughs>